Hi, here is a two minutes video to understand parabolic motion or projectile motion. Um, we see a player throwing a basketball uh, brilliantly and scoring a basket. Uh, initially, he applies a force at an angle and that force propels the ball and after that the ball follows a parabolic path. After falling through the basket, of course, the ball will bounce up and down till it comes to rest. So the initial force applied by the player is shown by the red arrow acting at an angle. That causes an initial velocity vector yellow arrow at an angle. Now, after the ball is released, the player is no longer applying any force. And the only force on the ball is its weight towards the center of the earth. That's F is equal to mg. That means the only acceleration on that ball in flight is g downwards. You can see that there is no acceleration on the ball in the horizontal direction. So we resolve the yellow arrow in two directions. At the top of the flight, the ball has reached its maximum height and there is no vertical velocity. There's only a horizontal velocity. Now, as the ball nears the basket, you can see the yellow arrow pointing downwards. So the resultant velocity is towards the basket. Now, if we draw that in the graph form, you can see that the horizontal velocity is shown by white arrows. They are constant. And therefore, the ax, the acceleration in the x direction is zero, and you can apply the equation v is equal to u plus at. In the vertical direction, the initial velocity is upwards, as shown by the white arrows, and then the velocity becomes downward. And then you can apply the acceleration as minus g, since it's always getting pulled down by gravity, apply the normal equations of motion, and you can solve any problem on projectile motion. I hope this was useful. Thanks, and have a great day.